Nate, uh, Pat said it, there was a point this offseason where he said, where he had a conversation with you, he said you're going to be the, the guy, you know, going into spring camp. You'll be the, the QB1. I mean, after all the time you've kind of waited, you've sat, you know, spent the last couple of years sort of waiting for that opportunity. How was it to hear that from him and, and uh, you know, know that kind of going into spring camp that you're, you're that guy? Yeah, it means everything. Um, to have a coach have confidence in you and believe in you uh, means a lot. Definitely allows me to go out there and just play football um, and try and be the best that I can be. Um, allows me to just try and be the best team guy I can be and make sure we're going in the right direction. How do you approach this year differently than you know past years? You know, if you're the guy that's going to be QB one to start things off, and you know you get to kind of hold that place. That's got to be a different kind of a challenge. It's definitely a different challenge, but it's the same mindset. I always had the same mindset. I, I wanted to play and I wanted to win, and now I'm in an opportunity to play and still want to win. So I'm um, going to work as hard as I can, make sure that we get we get wins this year. Hey, well, you, sorry, go ahead, Chris. Uh, I was going to say, how are you and Christian, uh, you know, working together? You know, working to try to help each other improve. You know, in a lot of college sports, you see, you know, one guy gets a starter or another guy, and they're around the same age. They'll go hit the transfer portal, try to find a different answer. It won't work, but it seems like you two are seem to be in lockstep with each other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Christian's a good quarterback. He's, I, I love you know, how to next to me. I can definitely learn from him, and I think, you know, I think it's a good relationship to allow us to compete and do better. I mean, what was your reaction to the new offensive coordinator, and when you saw the type of style did? Were there worries, concern? I mean, and what do, what do you think of the offense you guys are going to run here? Just extremely excited, to be honest. Um, that's something, the, the the speed that we're going to play at, something I'm used to, something I think will play to my strengths. Um, and I think um, just seeing today in practice with Coach Bell, it was so much fun and the passion he brings. I'm just excited to keep working with him this, this, uh, this, during the spring. What was the pace of practice like today? Fast, we were fast. Um, never stopped, getting reps. Just the way it should be. We're out there we're working. Um, you see the receivers are going. Everybody's going. Lineman's moving, getting set. Um, we're, we're, gonna, we're getting after the spring. That first time you talked to to Cade, you know, when you had a real conversation with him after he got hired. I mean, what were your impressions of him as you know, as a person, as a coach, and and of the offense? He's hungry. He's hungry. He wants to win. And I, I got that. That's the first impression I got from him. He, he he's coming in here to make sure that we get wins this year and that we are going up. You know, we're not here to be stagnant and, and fall. Uh, uh, that's, that's definitely the first impression I've gotten. Uh, he knows what he's doing, and he's confident. One of your things that I thought was one of your best attributes last season was your decision making. You could, in, in the pocket, under pressure, you found different ways to, to, to attack the different parts of, you, of a, a formation uh, out of the play. What, is, what has been your challenge as far as you know doing that, but now in a faster pace? Is that an advantage you feel like to, to your play style? I definitely think it's an advantage. Um, you know, going faster, I think I'm able to process it just as quickly, and so um, just can be able to catch, make the defenses easier to read and, and understand. Are there parts of your game that you'll be able to show into this offense that you weren't before that you're kind of eager to show people? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, I'm definitely excited for the spring to you know, get the reps I'm going to be. Um, I'm ready to take my game to the next level. I think that's a, this is the perfect opportunity, and Coach Bell is going to is the perfect coach. Did you run a fast-paced offense in high school? I did. Um, I, I was under Coach Stein, um, who's at Oregon these days. Um, so he ran a spread, and it was fast. Yes, sir. How fast? Uh, fast. I mean, uh, um, about, about the same as this. Just high tempo, never never huddle. So. Does it help to have guys like Kanate and Dejan, Kenny back, guys you played with, you started with? Definitely. I mean, uh, watching these, watching those guys today it was super exciting. Uh, how fast they're picking up the offense. Uh, those guys know what they're doing, and they're explosive on the field. Um, they're just um, open receivers everywhere, and, and that's what I'm excited to see this year. Did you get to do any like extra work in the winter, just like throwing around with them in your own time and building more of a connection with, with those guys? Definitely. Um, you know, just during during the off season, we're we're working outside of here on our own. You know, the whole time making sure we understood the, the new offense and we knew we had to get a head start to be able to understand and, and roll right through spring. And I'm really proud of those guys and, and just really everyone on the offense for showing up and, and getting their work done so we can be ready to go today. You, there are a lot of guys in the quarterback room. How, how well do you guys share ideas and to have so many bodies, how does that dynamic work? Quarterback room, since I've been here, has always been great every single year and that's no different this year. A um, bunch of really good guys in there and we all we're all working together and making sure that we know how each other knows what he's doing, know what we're doing, and, and so uh, I'm definitely really happy with the room that we have. 
Nate, you've been in this building after an ACC championship season, gone through that kind of off season. Now you're coming through an off season after a three win season. You know, kind of you've seen a couple of different extremes. What's the I don't want to say the vibe, but I mean, what's sort of the, the mood in this building? What's the attitude around this building? Is it the same as it was, you know, after that successful season? Or, you know, do you sense a different something in the players and coaches? Definitely sense a different um, a different vibe than last year. Um, there's no room for complacency anymore. Um, we're not here to be average. Last year, I think we, you know, we obviously could have been better. And everybody knows that, and everybody's everybody feels sick about it. So we're all moving in the right direction now. What is the biggest thing when you look back on all the last season that you're like, hey, if I get if I get this thing, if I improve this part of my game, I'm gonna be where I'm gonna be. Or one. Um, right now, for me, it's just buying into to Coach Bell, making sure that I understand what he wants, and make sure we're on the same page. Because I think as long as we're on the same page, nothing can stop us. Question or two more? Anything else for Nate? Nate, I mean, what's your relationship with the running backs? How the system's gonna work? I mean, he's been working out. I mean, How's the running back relationship? Yeah, we are working running back, especially this new offensive system. Um, you know, Rodney has definitely stepped up in the you know uh, the off season, making sure he knows what he's doing. Really excited what what he did today. Um, what I saw out of him, the whole running back room. Um, I can definitely go through all of them. You know, Des Reed and, and uh, you know the whole the whole room in there is doing a lot of good things. And so uh, I'm definitely excited to see what they're going to be able to do when the fast paced offense hopefully get them more touches than last year. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff. Right. <laughs> Run last. We, I, I just asked Nate about sort of the, the the attitude around here, the vibe around here. I mean, what what do you sense from your teammates, your coaches? You know, coming off the season you guys had heading into spring camp. Um, to start, uh, you know, coach was talking about how you know we we all have a bad taste in our mouth from last season, but the vibe right now is is so exciting. It's like it's a new beginning. You know, not just for offense with new coaches, new players coming in with a new scheme, uh, just defensively. You know, we brought some new guys in. We got, you know, new leaders throughout everywhere, uh, both vocal and just putting their heads down and, and working. But everyone's coming in and being really excited, really excited. And, you know, there's just a, there's just a new vibe to it, if that makes sense. So. Coach, I know you mentioned last year you guys had corners in place. You were looking for some new safeties. And that's how the other way around. Does your job change? Got some new to break in. Um, I, I would say that, yeah. Uh, we, you know, I came in last year as a guy trying to, you know, learn the defense and and try to lead by, you know, like learn how to lead, but by, you know, from guys like MJ, AJ, Quez. You know, now, like you said, the, role, the, the roles are reversed. You know, so we have guys who, you know, are really talented, don't have much experience, but you know, that just comes from, you know. Guys like Vaughn, uh, PJ, and I, you know, bringing those guys around, being positive, and you know, showing them that they can do it because they're they're just as good athletes and, and they make plays as well. So that's where that comes from. What are some of the biggest things that you feel like you're going to be able to do differently this year now that you've had a full year of the team, you know the system, and you're a lot more comfortable? Uh, a lot more comfortable. Uh, obviously, you know, have more fun at the end of the day. You know, whenever. You're going through a new defense and a new place, new beginning. Like you know, you might have your worries. You're a little bit nervous and everything. But now I get to have fun, and you know, when you're having fun, you get to lead. You know, and uh, being more vocal throughout the defense is something I've I've tried to work on. And you know, because you know now we go, we're old heads on the de on the defense side of the ball, so we're going through and you know, being vocal, um, you know, having fun and trying to go. Not just make the plays, you know, make the splash plays, you know, do that. So, does PJ have any trouble being vocal? <laughs> not, not, not one bit. The most vocal on the defense, if you say that. So. Are, are other leaders developing on the defense now? Yourself and some other guys who've been around for a while? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, there's a lot of, you know, one of the biggest ones is uh, Brandon Joy. You know, he comes in every day doing the same thing, being consistent and being loud and vocal to, uh, you know, you know, all the guys like I'm coming in, just putting my head down and working. I try to, um, you know, talk at, to a, a minimum because I don't, I'm not the big vocal guy. But at the same time, you know, we got guys on offense, defense, everywhere. You know, trying to say, putting their two cents of, uh, you know, making sure this program goes in the right direction. I'm on, I know it's just a day in the spring ball, but how different is it being a defender against the offense now that 
It has. Oh, yeah. Today was fun. You know, that I was already talking to the guys in the locker room. They're like, well, you've seen this part of our offense. So, and that was so much fun. You know, got to, you know, cover guys in the boundary to them throwing deep posts to trying to get all their playmakers involved. And it was really exciting to uh, see that on this offense side of the ball. So, you know, like you said, day one, I'm excited to see what day two holds and, and what it's going to look like by the end of the team. So. There's so many tempo offenses around college football these days. What you're experiencing in practice is it much different than what you've already experienced, right? Oh, 100% here, you know, 100%. You gotta, um, you gotta one, you gotta make sure you have your air. <laughs> you gotta make sure that you, um, you know, tiredness makes cowards of us all, you know? So you gotta make sure that you're getting back to the line, line of scrimmage, getting ready, making your calls and getting the play because you end up being tired and that's when you get exposed. So. Not much experience with it. I've played a few teams in the past with speed, but uh, uh, with us having our team have the speed, you know, it's just going to make offenses that go slow that much easier. So, Donovan, I mean, this will be your second year with you, PJ, and Juan starting safeties. I mean, how much of it is sort of a relief to know you guys? You've already had that experience, but now you can start spreading and you really need to figure out what you need to work on prior to heading into the summer and fall. Um, uh, did you say it was more of like a relief? Or? Yeah, do you, do you think it's like more of a relief to have that experience with PJ and the ball going into it? Oh, 100%, you know, we're all, we're all locked in, you know, like this. Like, we're all really cool and we're all friends. So it makes our, our um, compatibility much easier on the field. So, you know, whenever you're, you're locked in, not in just this building, but outside of football, uh, it makes it so that, you know, you got my back, you got my, you got mine. So I'm excited to, you know, keep building this bond throughout the whole defense, the whole secondary, you know, and with, our, with the younger guys as well, and just see where that takes us. Donovan, when you were asked about the changes, how much quieter is it not having Quez and MJ? And can PJ do enough from a vocal standpoint to, to handle that part of it? Quiet. Um, as far as how much they talked. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think with, uh, with more confidence and, uh, you know, as, as guys start forming into the defense, the talk is going to come right back, you know. Obviously, we have P.J. talking, you know. I love P.J. We're all talking as well. So it's all, um, like, comfortability for those guys. And I think it's going to come really easily. You know, day one was so much excelled. excelled and um, day two is going to be that much better. You know, these guys are going and through and are just talking about being 3% better every day. And I'm, I'm excited to go day by day and see where it takes us. Final one, anything else for Donovan? Donovan, you're awesome.